This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover basic lighting. In the description below, I'm going to add a link to Load's tutorial, which goes into a lot more depth. But just for today, I'm going to show you the basic lighting to get you started. In order to add a light to your room, all you need to do is move into the location, right click, and add light. Then click on the light so that it turns green. Hold down the control key and the left mouse button to move it into the position. So in this particular case, I'm going to move it right into the center of the room. This room, actually all of these rooms, are 512 by 512. I just basically made one template up here, intersected it, and then added a whole bunch of copies. So this one is just a very basic plain vanilla light. I didn't adjust anything, so let's see how that looks in game. Here is how the light looks in the game. Plain vanilla without adjusting color or radius. So what I did was I built a whole bunch of these rooms to show you how the official maps, UT maps, change their lights. This one here is from deck 16, the lava room where you can find the flak cannon. This one here is the rocket launcher room, again, from deck 16. There's one light here, and then there's another smaller light for where the light fixture is. This one is the secret area where you can find the Redeemer in deck 16. And as you can see, there's only one light, and it's reddish. Now moving on to something more subtle, which I recommend you do. This is from Facing Worlds, the Blue Flag Room. And this is from the ramp where you can get the shield belt in DM Tempest. So there's one light on the ramp and then another light in the ceiling with a sort of a light orange glow. So now you've seen the different types of light colors. Let me go back to the editor and show you what you need to adjust. Click on the light, right click on it, select properties. And this is basically it. These are the three attributes that affect the color and intensity of your light. Then you open up lighting and go to the radius. And that's it. Those are the two values that you need to change, actually four values, three here, one there, that you need to change to make color in your map. As I said before, these ones from deck 16 are pretty intense because in this one here, it's like a pool of green lava and then there's a small platform where you get the flat cannon this one here is just blue for some reason. I can't really explain it to you. And this one's nice because it's in a secret area, so most people would probably bypass it. And it has the Redeemer, so it obviously gives you a warning that this is a very dangerous weapon. Whereas I prefer sort of the subtlety of facing worlds. There's the sort of a light blue lighting, and it goes well with the, the blue flag that's in there. And this is a very warm, inviting lighting from DM Tempest. And then again, to compare, this is plain vanilla without having changed anything. So if I right click on that, you can see it's uh, this is the default setting and the radius is 64. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is a Corona, which is also 
very popular. First, I took this, which you can get by going into the Actor Browser, Decoration, and I just picked a lantern right there. The lantern itself does give a little bit of color, uh, of lighting and color, but the real trick is the corona. So if I go into the editor, I will show you that. So here is the lantern, but it's this that you're interested in, which is the little tiny light that I've added here. Click on properties. And so there's a bunch of things you need to change to make a corona. First, draw scale. By default, it's a one, but when you're dealing with coronas, you're gonna get a gigantic corona. So I would recommend reducing this to 0.1. Then you come down to the section that's called skins, and you have to get a lens flare skin for this attribute here. And I'll show you where you get that. You open a package which is called Gen FX, and then go to Lens Flare. And then you have a whole bunch of choices here. So I picked this one because it's kind of yellowish and it matches the lantern. And so you need to change that. Then you can come here, adjust the color if you wish. Then under lighting, you have to say B Corona, set that equal to true. And then finally, you have to change the light radius. Now, by default, it's 64, but you could probably reduce that based on the size of your room. So let me show you how the Corona looks. So there it is there, and you can see how far back I can go and still see that corona. So you may want to adjust the radius depending on the size of your room. So for example, this dude here is 1280 units from the wall. So that's already quite a massive room. And if you come out here, it's probably now twice that distance. So this is at least 2000 or 2500 units away. And you don't need to have the radius that big. So I'd probably reduce the radius so that you can see it from this distance. That's pretty much it for the lighting tutorial. Obviously what you can do is you can look at the official UT maps, click on some lights, click on the properties and check out what kind of color, saturation and radius they use. The best thing to do is do what I've done here with the builder room and experiment yourself with the lighting. And I'll add a link in the bottom for uh, more website info on lighting.